Anchors up, sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? I uh, broke OBS like 20 minutes or 30 minutes before we were supposed to start recording. So that's how I'm doing. Well, we're going to we'll, we'll make it a little bit better by talking about the win over the weekend from Ohio State over Marshall 49 to 14. How about that? Will that, will that make you better? Feel better, Jared? Uh, you when we're talking about the offense, I'll feel better. When we're talking about the defense, maybe not so much. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we'll we'll go ahead and jump right into it here. So, uh, yeah, definitely a Oops. definitely an interesting game. Hey, Kyle, before before we do that, new tradition, oh. good tradition. That was terrible, terrible performance. Sorry about that. Uh, here we go. All right. We're good now. So everything's fine. I'm not panicking anymore. I feel looking at the, looking at the, uh, by quarters here, Mm -hmm. definitely a very, very rough start for Ohio state in the first quarter there, uh, being, um, outgained. By Marshall in the first half, Marshall started off very well, but I believe I believe Marshall's coach uh, said it best was that the Ohio State defense uh, suffocated the offense, and the offense just sputtered and just couldn't keep up. They just couldn't keep up uh, as the game progressed there, and and the numbers showcase that every every quarter, like they started, Marshall started off really hot, 121 yards in the first quarter, and 82 in the second. 60, um, sorry, um, 29 in the third and 32 in the fourth. Second half was just absolute dominance by Ohio State there, but definitely that first quarter, they definitely rough start. But I mean, hats off, hats off to, um, to, uh, Stone Earl. He was just on fire, making great throws. And it wasn't really that Ohio State was in bad position or it was a, um, misplay or anything, but I mean, it was just, he, he got the, he got the time that he needed and made, made great throws. And, and occasionally he made those two, three yards to pick up a first down on third and short. So, I mean, hats off to him, but how state, how state was able to pick that up after the second, second or third drive there and took care of business from there. Yeah. I mean, let's, Let's be honest, Ohio State's defense got a lot better once Stone Earl left the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when, when you left that, yeah. Let, let's be honest, that's... I think that was more of a Marshall thing than an Ohio State, for being honest. Um, offense, spectacular. I mean, we'll get into the, like the, the minutia of the grades here in a second, as I have the report card up. Um Offense, elite, tremendous, great performance. Defense, I, I'm very concerned, generally speaking, about this defense, whose defensive line, by all counts, should be amazing, not getting consistent pressure on the quarterback. No, I mean it. It is to be said that uh, Tyreek Williams was out in this game here. Yeah, and okay, but I I want to see more consistent pressure from the defense events. And I agree. I agree. Yeah, exactly. One guy like, can't one guy, cause one that. One guy can't cause that. Yeah, especially on this defense that is loaded. Uh, Ty Leak, we weren't even expecting to have on this team. You know, everyone was expecting him to be gone among, you know, a bunch of other guys on this defense. And, it, you know, it has to be said, this was Marshall. You, you're you should you should be able to lose a, a defensive tackle, roll in a second defensive tackle when you're Ohio State and they're Marshall. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, let, let's 
let's get let's let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's let's start with the offense. We'll, we'll start with the good news here. Uh, first off, game game plan here. Game plan. I'd have to give an A. I'd have to give an A there. The offense was just hitting on all c- cylinders. They, I mean, it, what a great what a great response there. The defense struggled. Defense struggled, and uh, on that first on that first drive, uh, and Marshall went down the field for thirteen plays over six and a half minutes, and two plays later, <laughs> Ohio State scores a touchdown on a sixty eight yard. Um, uh, throw in a run by by a mecca there, or catch and run by a mecca. Yeah, I think one of the things the offense was good at was both putting together long drives at times and also home run hitting at times. You know, it, when when you're playing a team like Marshall, it's it's good to see both. Like you want to see both, right? You don't want to be big play dependent. You want to be able to put together good, consistent drives. But at the same time, when you're when there's a talent gap, you should be breaking open big plays. And I think that's what we saw here. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. What's the chat one for an, an, an interesting plan? thing? Interesting thing, Jared. Uh, while we're waiting for an answer here. Ohio State did not have a pl- did not have a drive longer than nine plays. They were all shorter than nine. I, I and I know this didn't hold up in the second half, but in the first half, they only faced one third down and converted on it. You know that uh, that has to be said for two. something. In the first half, in the first half, they were two for two in third downs. Okay, I only remember one. Yep, nope. but that's fine. All good, all good there. <laughs> but Spike says a cover wouldn't have would have gotten an A plus. That's not on the offense. I yeah, that's not on the offense. No way Marshall should have got. Yeah, but we're fourteen points. Yeah, fourteen points. But but we're grading the offense right now. Yep, grading the offense here. So. Um, we, we can talk about, we can talk about that when we talk about like overall. All right. Game management for the offense. Hey, I I'd say a as well. They, yeah. I, they, they responded, as I mentioned, they responded really well off of the, the touchdown there. And I'm just looking here to see. This the second touchdown was right before half, so that didn't matter. But start started the started the second half, and they they came out with a touchdown as well. Yeah, I I, I like I liked what um, the offense did here. Yeah, no argument. I, I'll also go with the stray day. Um, chat. Okay. We got A's across the board there. We got got A's. All right. Moving moving to passing here. Passing, I'm gonna I'm gonna say A minus. I'll say A minus here. I'm gonna I'm gonna down I'm gonna downgrade just a little bit from uh, Will Howard here. Start off like almost every pass that he did was was really well thrown, except for the one interception. That was just a bad decision. An even better, um, even worse throw. To just I don't know if the th- to, I don't know if the throw was all that bad. It was it was it was, just it, was a it was not it was not high enough. It wasn't high enough for for Smith to try to get it up. Yeah, he 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 was trying to trying to break it up, and he 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 wasn't expecting that pass to come to him. Well, and that that's that's some freshman shit because you always have to be expecting the pass. True, that's true. Um, I quite frankly think at least some of that is on Smith. If we're talking about after the ball was thrown, that's kind of on Smith. But ultimately, that pass should not have been thrown. Yeah. Chat. All right. Uh, A's. I, I, well, we see A's here. Oh, OK. I did it. I uh, also did an A. All right. Running. A plus. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. A plus. A plus. Um, I, I give this one an A plus. Yep, S. We got S and A plus 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 across here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't we don't yeah, but just an we, A, A plus we, is max. 
we were kind of kidding in the um we we're talking about uh after the game here or maybe it was towards the end of the game i know i know uh henderson and judkins are running back 1a and 1b but i mean looking looking at the three first three games here i mean it's pretty it's pretty obvious you can see that judkins has done really really well with the opportunity he's had there yeah let's before we start before we start the conversation that you want to start which is like who's number one and who's number two judkins is better against worse competition because he's more of a home run hitter i think trey is going to be at times more valuable against your Iowas of the world against your big, strong defenses. I I think he's going to be the guy that gets you four or five yards. When, when you really need four or five yards, whereas Judkins is more likely to break it wide open, but maybe doesn't always get that four or five yards. So I think it's very easy to look through what has been and let's call a spade a spade, a very cupcake schedule so far and say, wow, look at the numbers Judkins is putting up. But these are the type of games where Judd, because again, he's more of a home run hitter. Fair. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair point. Fair point. But both running backs, outstanding stellars. <laughs> both of them were averaging over 12 yards a carry. Sparty will be a test. No, it will not. No, like, they won't. Sparty will be the best team that Ohio State has more, played so far. More, more on that on our Tuesday episode in our um in our collegiate chaos episode. Yeah. All right. Receiving and, and again on and again on Thursday. But yeah. receiving. Yeah. Moving on to receiving. I, a I I I can't recall that where there was like a, a dropped pass or anything. So yeah, I'd say a. A well, very, very solid technically speaking, there was um, this is receiving, not receivers. So we do have to count tight end receiving. Yeah. Um, in that sense, that being said, I thought the wide receivers were, were stellar. I, I will go a plus. Um, you, you want a fun stat here, Jared? I would just hold on. Uh, Mecca was fantastic. Um, Smith was good and, you know, he didn't get a lot of touches in this particular game, but, 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 but Emeka carried the day, um, and, and was spectacular. All targets. Now this is kind of misleading because I know the one target to, um, to Smith was an interception, but I guess if they had the opportunity to catch it, the receivers have caught it. Yeah, that 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 no, that's just that's just wrong. They, they absolutely targeted Jeremiah Smith and it was not completed mm-hmm. on the interception. So that's that line is just wrong, quite frankly. But look, five tar but looking at all the other ones, hundred hundred percent completion, when thrown to Mecca, when thrown to Tate, when thrown to Ennis, they've all they've all been caught. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's and a Tate stellar, stellar stat. Yeah, Tate had a sneaky good game. I think they're blocking well on the outside, which yes, they is, are. isn't necessarily something we talk about. You know, we'll talk about mm-hmm. next. Um, but yeah, it's, I, you know, I, again, Emeka carried the day. Tate had a sneaky good game. Jeremiah Smith is, you know, a huge threat. The tight, this, this, we had, we finally got the year of the tight end last year and to steal a, a line from Austin in the, I think it was Austin in the discord this weekend. This year is whatever the opposite of (laughs) Yodi is. So yeah, yeah, this is not the year of the tight end, especially Mm -hmm. from a receiving standpoint. Uh, Our tight ends are blockers this year. All right. Run blocking. I got to give an A plus. I got to give a plus on that. Yeah. I, I don't have the stat. I wish I looked it up here. Don't know if there was like a single, if there was a single like um, play that went behind the line of scrimmage on a on a running play. 
I know that I know that Will Howard got uh, sacked once, but I don't know if there was a single running play that went negative yards. Yeah, I don't remember one. Not not by a running back at least. A plus because Jerry doesn't allow us to go higher. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, it's just, I, it just it is what it is. Like I I think that the the run blocking was spectacular. Um, a lot of that is scheme. Um, and I don't mean to disrespect the run blockers, the tight ends, the offensive line, um, but the. There's a certain amount of imagination in the run play designs this year that were not, you know, it's it's the Chip Kelly effect. I mean, call call it what it is. Um, there, there's, by the way, just the funniest run of the day, especially if you count what was being seen in our Discord server. I'm sure it was being seen elsewhere. I would say it lined up with three running backs in the backfield. And people in the Discord were like, wing T, wing T. Oh, my God, it's a wing T. And then they just snuck it, which is just funny. <laughs> like, that's just that's objectively funny. I but just quickly looked at. They're going to throw quickly, that on film and then do something to the outside in the future. But, hey, they've now put that formation on film. The other teams are going to now have to prepare for it. And when you're facing, you know, when you're in a much stickier game you now will have the opportunity to you know maybe run something else out of that i quickly looked at every every play here there was one only one play that went negative yards oh, i'm sorry two each two each Trav uh travion and judkins each had a negative rush so only two okay and so that's still really good all right um pass blocking a, a, I can't I, complain. I can't really complain too well, much about th it. I mean, there, there was, I'm actually going to, I'm going to tack a minus onto that. Um, th there was like a really bad whiff block later in the game. Um, that being said, it did appear to be somewhat of an isolated incident. Um, I believe it was Fryer and the Marshall pass rusher. Um, oh God, I'm blanking on his name. You know, we talked about him a lot during uh, Know Your Enemy. They kept him silent most of the game. Green. Yes, green. Thank you, Spikes. Um, they kept him silent most of the game, to be fair. Only two tackles. Yeah. But it was it was a it was a whiff block like it was a non competitive. But that being said, it only happened once. So that has to be worth something. Yes, it right. was in fact Spike's um, key matchup of the game. In offensive third offensive third downs, Ohio State went four for eight. I, I don't care. So, I, that, that doesn't so bother I, me. In the first half, when it mattered, they went two for two. Yeah, yeah, that, I'd say an A. Yeah, I'd say an I, a. I went A plus. Um, when I think they only punted once when the starters were out there. Or was it just once in total? Um, but it was only once when the starters were out there. So mm. that's good enough for me. Yep. I think even that, that, that was in the third quarter. We got, we got A in the chat here. All right. Um, so overall, I mean, before we go into the defense here, yeah. Uh, stellar stellar play by uh, for Ohio State on their offense. Uh, can't Can't complain too much about what we saw. What we saw uh, Saturday afternoon. Yeah, and one more, go, one more quick, one more quick note on third downs before you do that. Sorry, I know you're about to add break. Uh, the best third downs are the third downs you don't face. And again, they only faced third down twice in the first half. Yeah, that's why they get an A plus for me. All right, fair enough. All right, all right, do the thing now. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick ad break here. Uh, be sure to head on over to the swoopcast.com uh, where you can find all of our lovely links, such as our YouTube page, our Discord page, uh, discord.thesloopcast.com. 
Um, also our Patreon, our Patreon. Uh, if you want to help support the podcast, you can have, head on over to patreon.thisloopcast.com. Only $3 a month uh, to help support Jared and I and continue doing doing this podcast here. Or if you're not into do the whole Patreon thing, head on over to uh, our merch store, merch.thisloopcast.com. Pick up a t-shirt uh, to help support us as well. Uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and take our quick ad break and be right back. And we're back. All right. Actually, nope. Let's pull the report report card back up. I'm throwing off. All I'm uh, showing off my transition a All lot right. tonight. Let's, um, let's go to the defense. Let's go to the defense here, Jared. Game plan. What do you grade the date? Little What do you grade the game plan, Jared? Going with a C. Um, I feel like they came into the game thinking that they could just rush forward the entire game and get to the quarterback and they couldn't. Uh, and we can talk about if that's, uh, you know, and I feel like they didn't adjust to that quickly. Uh, they, they were not getting the pressure they needed. Uh, we should be able to rush yeah. forward and get pressure. We should, mm -hmm. we didn't, but again, they didn't adjust to that appropriately. I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, I'm, I'm great at grading them a little bit higher. I'm saying at C plus, um, like C minus in the first half, but um, really stellar in the in the second half there. So I I average it out to a C plus. Yeah, I, I will once again reiterate C. C, C oh, not C B. plus. C I will once again reiterate that the defense got better uh, once their quarterback left. That's we got. We got I don't think the defense got D. better. We got C minus and a D in the in the chat here. Yeah, I went C. I I went C minus. I I I couldn't split between them. Okay. All right. Uh, game management. I I got to give the same grade. I got to give the same grade, like a C C C plus. But I just just put a C for me. Okay. Yeah. I again, you weren't getting to the. You didn't get to the quarterback. You weren't making the correct adjustments. Um, you were getting picked apart by a team that you should not be getting picked apart by. That's not acceptable to me. Yep, yep. C minus in the chat. All right. Uh, run stop. I, I mean, this is this is one thing that Ohio State should have done really well. And I mean, you look at it: two point nine yards per average. Really good. Uh, really good on the on the rushing yards per average lighting up. But and you look at the stats, it's 125, 125 yards. So I'd say B minus. I'm going to say like a B minus, C plus for me. Uh, there was a lot of times, especially in that first uh, first half, on those third and shorts, they just, yeah. they just let up. They just let up those first downs. And it, it, was, it was a little frustrating. To, Marshall to did that. not run the ball effectively but they did run it clutchly. Like, I yes. don't think that that's not a word, but like when they needed to get a few yards, they got a few yards. Um, it was like Ohio state was happy to go bend no break on them, which it's Marshall. Why are we going to bend no break? Um, ah, felt, it felt like they got five to six yards on first down every time. Well, here's a fun stat. First down efficiency. Marshall, Marshall, uh, was gaining 4.2 yards for every for every first down that they ran. Yeah, but that that's all plays. That's not runs. That's all plays. That's all plays. Yeah. Um, um rushing. So they well, rushed it 17. They rushed it 17 times on first down and got 4.1 yards. Yeah. Uh, it's. This I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend the defense for a second. Our expectations have gone up. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, we would have been thrilled with this game. Now that being said, our expectations should go up. All right, our expectations should be going up. Absolutely, um, and, that, and that's why I rated it lower. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying, 
you know, everyone's like, oh, it felt, everyone looks at the stats and go, oh, it felt worse. It felt worse. It felt worse. Your expectations are up. That's why. Logically, yeah. you're still holding them like to the same statistical metrics, but emotionally you're expecting a certain level of dominance. Um, moving our line backwards was the most concerning thing. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think our defensive line lost to Marshall's offensive line. And that doesn't, I mean, that, I mean, that should not happen. We're, we're not, we're not going to, it's not going to be the same kind of game where Ohio State's defense let up, only lets up less than a hundred yards the entire game. That's, that's, that's right. near impossible to, to repeat. But 14 points to Marshall is not. Well, yeah, it's, it, yeah, not that, a, it shouldn't, it's a, it's shouldn't a failure. Happen. That's yeah. a failure. Right. Uh, pass rush. I got to, I got to rate the pass rush. Yeah. Correct. Jared. Yeah. A D that's, yeah. that's what I'm thinking as well. The pass rush, like non-existent there. Uh, one sack, one sack for, for the game. And there's a total of three, three tackles for loss all game. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, yeah the, the pa- this, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seven. I'm sorry. There were seven, seven tackles for loss. Yeah, the pass rush is not, and you know, I think, I think it was Spikes. Someone said it in the chat earlier. Like they were going for a quick, you know, quick scheme, quick run, or you know, quick release, quick release. Yeah, that's what everyone does. Mm-hmm. Even if they're quicker, re- I'm not. I'm not asking for got, five or six sacks a game. But you should always have a hand in his face. You should always be putting him on the ground. You should always you know, force him to, a you know, adjust his stance. I'm not, I understand that the other team's going to try and get rid of the ball in two seconds. That's been the book on Ohio state for a decade at this point. I get that, but that doesn't mean he should have a clean pocket to throw from. Mm, I'm not, I, I, you, I, I'm, chat? I'm not putting it. Yeah. What, what do you got chat? I'm not putting this all on sacks. Sacks are very difficult to get when the other team knows you can produce them. But it's, you know, it's beyond that. Earl had a clean pocket to throw from most of the game. Yep. All right. Pass coverage. I'm, I'm going to say like a, a B plus. I, I, th- I think the pass coverage was was better. I thought I, I was overall I was pretty impressed with the pass coverage. Other than Metcalf, Metcalf was getting open. Um, he, 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 he was like the only, the only big weapon um, on the on the receiving end there. Everything else, I, th- I thought the, I thought our um, defensive backs did did pretty well. So I, I'd say like a B B plus. I disagree. I, I went D. Um, okay. I'm sorry, you're the our secondary is probably the strength of the team. I don't I don't know if that's a ridiculous thing to say. I think we have five elite starters in the secondary. And I'm going to grade them based off of that. And you let Marshall get open pretty consistently. I, you know, sorry, you, you, that's, that's not acceptable. It's, you had I'm look, I'm looking. eight, yeah, Metcalf had eight catches. Braylon Brown had three catches. Fitzpatrick got two catches. Um, and, and, and those are, those are normal. Like those are normal, like three catches and two catches. That's perfectly normal. And I understand like Metcalf had himself a, a great game, but completely, uh, completely understand that but outside of that i thought ohio state did a pretty good job with with coverage um against the against the uh the other wide receivers but i mean you got to also give credit to to stone earl with putting those passes right where, sure. they, where they need to be too sure he hit his open receivers the problem is is that they were open mm-hmm. And it really was, you look at it, it was just two drives. You take those two drives away here, 
Um, I just had the stat hub. You take those two drives away, and that that is like ninety, almost ninety yards of their one hundred thirty-two through the air. Take take those two away, and like we we'd be talking a lot different about the you you would be grading the pass coverage a lot a lot differently then. Yeah, I would be. Unfortunately, those drives actually happened. We, if you know, we'd be grading, we'd be grading Judkins' day a lot different if we took his two best runs away. Like you, yeah. you, you can't just you can't you can't take them away. All right, tackling. What do you got? What do you got for tackling? I, I didn't feel like there were a lot of missed tackles. Quite frankly, mm -hmm. um, no, I didn't think so. Either. I know we're 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 ragging on the defense today. Um, but I, I, you know, part of the frustrating thing is that Marshall put together a lot of sustained drives. The drives were very long and, you know, part of the reason for that is they weren't ripping off huge plays because the tackling was there. Yep. The yep. guys weren't Only so wide open that they were running after the catch much. I don't know what, Only what good. Only one, only one play over 20 yards this yeah. game. Only one play. It, yeah, they they kept they tackled when they when they needed to. So yeah, B plus. I I thought I thought it I thought they did really well. Actually, no. Let's let me grade them higher. A minus. Let's let's do A minus. Uh, there there was it was really really well tackled. Yeah. Third downs. Third down defense. All right. I gotta I gotta grade the game as a whole here. So I'd say. I say like a like a C minus because 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 that that first half yeah that first half was like an absolute like F they they did they did horrible on third down but obviously did much better much better after the um after the first half so I'll say like a C minus I'm looking here so Marshall Marshall in the first quarter went four for six and then went two for five in the second in the um second quarter so. Six for eleven in the first half, and then the second half they were one for seven. As I've said, as Spikes points out in the chat, after Stone Earl got hurt. The improvement of the defense, I'm sorry, was not an improvement of the defense. It's the fact that Stone Earl left the game. I don't think the defense actually got all that much better. Marshall has a quarterback and they lost him and the defense mm. magically got better when they lost him. Yep. All right. Special teams. Are you talking about special teams, Jerry? Yeah. Let's talk about special teams. All right. So um, real, real, before we do that real quick, just want to point out, I, I changed this. I changed the report card a little bit. Uh, it used to be place kicking, kick coverage, and then punts and kickoffs. I wanted to simplify it a bit. I just went kicking, punting, returning. That's fine. Yep. Kicking. F. Kicking yep. F. I also have an F. Um, don't know what the hell that was about. I have no idea, but it 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 cost him to be um to be sidelined. Yeah. Um. I, I felt that felt like an Urban Meyer special teams for a minute. <laughs> Zach says, just type in dog shit. Yeah. Um, hey, at least we made all our extra points. So. That's true. I guess that's uh, something. Punning, punning. I, I don't have anything bad to say for punning. Yeah. So I guess a. I guess how, a? how many how many times was it once? Uh, was it they twice? Three, three oh, times. I, I may have zoned out a bit in the fourth quarter once the starters went out. Mm -hmm. McGuire, McGuire punted it twice. Averaged averaged forty three and a half. Much better than what we've seen the first two games. Much better. Sometimes then, that's uh, just opportunity. Yeah, and then. Nick McClarty um, punted it once in the, uh, I think it was the last punt, and that was 
only for 30 yards. So, hey, that's fine. Yeah. Um, returning. I, I got I got to I got to give that a low grade too. So I got to I got to give that like an F as well too. Yeah. Like Kyle, look at the screen, buddy. I got an F up there too. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. The 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 fact that Marshall lined up incorrectly might have helped the actual game, but I remember dropping the punt in what could have been a we, we all disaster. Mm -hmm. Um. And quite frankly, most of the. A lot of the other fair catches looked. Upsetting too, quite frankly, like it's just it. It didn't look great. It was not a no. good uh, punt catching day. Uh, it, it was not. Nope. No. All right. All right. Last ones here. Um, going for the team as all well, as a whole effort. Um, hey, Kyle, before we do that, why don't we go ahead and take our second ad break? Uh, want to encourage everyone to actually hold on. Let me do this thing. Uh, visit the sloopcast.com. That's where you can find all of our links. Uh, go to patreon.thesloopcast.com to support us financially. Discord.sloopcast.com to hang out with us. It's the only social media Kyle and I use on a regular, I mean, me anyway, uh, use on a regular basis. Um, YouTube.thesloopcast for the video version. RSS.thesloopcast for your podcast apps. Spotify, where the podcast is on Spotify. We have two separate merch stores. If you're watching the YouTube version of the show right now, you can see some of our T-shirts up on the screen. Um, for the actual Sloopcast branded stuff, you can go to merch.thesloopcast.com. For stuff that's more just like celebrates the state of Ohio, uh, you can go to 7071.thesloopcast.com. Though either way supports us the same financially. It's time to start thinking about Christmas. I know you don't necessarily want to think about that yet, but it is it's coming up, especially since these are all print to order and therefore don't necessarily ship all that quickly. If you want, you might want to, you know, order order early. Uh, here's that ad break now. Hey, now, so Jared can get a beard net. My beard is not even very long right now. It's It's a very short beard. At the moment, I don't need a beard net. I'm good. Thank you for the offer, though. Uh, all right, Kyle. Overall grades. All right. Why don't you swap us back here so oh, we can yeah. see the. My bad. There we go. All right. Team effort. I guess like a B minus. Mm, I did a C plus. That's very similar uh i don't know last cupcake game before the big 10 schedule it is what it yeah, is was it was it a little was it a little just you're coming off the bye week and you're just going through the motions i i don't know a little bit of apathy yeah, yeah. i i mean i don't know again the offense was great like it needs to be said the offense was was great it was hitting on all cylinders mm -hmm. Um, Kyle's answer, although I mean, our answers are very similar, but it probably maybe should have been more of a B minus. Um, but the defense was incredibly lackluster. Yep. All right. Discipline. I, there, was there really any penalties? I think, I think discipline goes beyond penalties. I, I know. I know. Um, only five penalties here. Dumb um, Caden Curry. The penalty. Yeah. I mean, yeah, those, I mean those those penalties suck. Yeah, um, but yeah, there was I, I no there B. was no reason for B. him to lower his head like he did. Like that was just dumb. Uh, yeah. B. C plus. C yep. plus. All right, and execution. I, I guess I, I would say for execution, I would say B minus. Yeah, I mean, it depends, you know, this depends upon the side of the ball, quite frankly. And I'm actually going to go mm -hmm. ahead and add a minus to mine as well. Yeah, I, I think the offense executed incredibly well. I don't think the defense executed well at all, as you can see in our detailed breakdowns. 
yeah, we are saying C plus. Yeah, I think C plus yep. is the general consensus from the chat. Mm -hmm. um, All right, and and the overall for for the team here for for this game against Marshall. Spikes makes a good forward. point. He lowered it to a C minus because the special <laughs> teams. I don't think we should weigh the special teams evenly with the other two, but that's maybe just me. The Ohio State's victory over Marshall, okay. forty nine to fourteen. Our overall for what we've seen for the game here. I'd say overall B minus as well. Yeah, that's I did a B plus. I think you're probably closer. I think I'm going to take the plus off. Actually, I think we'll just go with a B. Okay. Nah, you persuaded me. I'm going down to B minus. Uh, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just maybe when I filled this out earlier, I may have been a little more generous uh, talking it through. It's probably more like a B minus. We grade based off of expectation. We grade based off of the opponent. You didn't cover. You oh, got to cover. Do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> More on that on Tuesday. Yeah. All right. Um, any, any, anything chat, else, what do you, Jared? What do you have? We'll see what chat has to say. C. We'll go with a C. Uh, we have consensus. All right. Um, yeah, there we go. Those are our grades. I'll leave them up there for a second for everyone to sink in on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's, yeah, it, it was just, it was a lackluster game. It's the kind of game you don't even remember in four weeks right. as, as, as long as you correct the issues. The things I'm most concerned about Kyle, what do you I'll actually let me ask you first, then I'll give my answer because I feel like we're probably going to agree anyway. <laughs> what are you most concerned about right now? Right now, it's it's the pass rush right now. Yeah. It's the pass rush for me. And it has it has been for a couple of years, for a few years now. And it doesn't make we, we should have the talent up front to rush the passer. Mm -hmm. And it's frustrating that that doesn't turn into actual sacks more often. Um, and if not sacks, at least I, I hits felt like, and, and pressure. I, I, I think somebody, I think somebody in the chat um, said this, this felt like a very vanilla. Sure. Type of defense. Z spikes did. Yeah. It felt very, very vanilla. Like you didn't really, didn't really seem like there was a lot of, um, complexity with some of the play calling to to try to get some linebackers and some mismatch opportunities but yeah maybe, maybe they didn't need to i i don't know you know I, I i get that i think i think you brought it up a few times during the and by the way i agree with you that's also my concern if i didn't already say that um I don't know why you're so against cover one, Zach. I mean, I wouldn't want to run it all the time, but it's a perfectly good defense to work in sometimes. Probably going to be running yep. a lot of cover one against Michigan, which would be appropriate. Um, maybe maybe cover zero from, from what we've seen from the quarterback. Yeah. All right, we do, we do have yeah. a question. We do have a question yeah, here. Yeah, let's get uh, to the question. I, I lost I lost my train of thought. Z, it's fine. Z, Z Spike says, why is Judkins so good and are we spoiled? Uh, Judkins is a is a beast. Yeah. Why he's so good is because he's he's a beast. He's <laughs> make, making all the right making making all the right um all the right moves, all the right cuts. And are we spoiled? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yes. I mean, we're sitting here not very happy about a 49 to 14 game. Mm -hmm. um, and. I, 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 if you, if you're watching this and you're like, uh, spoiled Ohio state fans, I get it. Like, okay. Fair criticism. But we're not trying to beat Marshall. 
Marshall's beating Marshall is not the goal. And if you're sitting watching college football all day, like many of us do, you're seeing what Texas is doing. You're seeing what Tennessee's doing. You're seeing what Georgia's doing. You're seeing what Alabama's doing. I don't know about Georgia. They, they haven't looked. Them. <laughs> I, 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 whatever. Well, we're not getting into that discussion right now. Um, nope. Those are the teams we're comparing ourselves against right now. Yep. Tennessee will somehow get stumped by Florida. <laughs> that makes no sense, which means it'll happen. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's college football. All right. That's, All right. That's it. That's, that's, that's the end that's of the show. It, yep. That's the only that's the only question that we have uh, for, for today, Jared. All right. Um, That's it. Uh, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Uh Early, early thoughts on the, on the opener for Ohio State, Michigan State this weekend. Ohio State opens as a twenty-five point yeah. favorite. I don't like that number off rip. Uh, it's actually it's down to twenty-three and a half now. Yeah, that makes sense. That felt, that felt a little high. Um. Although I think Ohio State does cover, it just felt a little high. Um, that's all. All right, that's it. That is that's all we got for today. All right. Um, tonight's ending music: Columbus-based band called uh, "Pray for Sleep." Um. That's uh, yeah. Pray for sleep. Uh, tonight's song will be lost on my own by pray for sleep. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, pray for sleep.